In this video, we will use algebra to work through this limit. The first thing I notice about this limit is that the numerator and the denominator both tend toward infinity. And so we have one of those cases where we can't really draw a conclusion without doing more work. So the next thing I notice is that both the numerator and denominator are polynomials. They are basically powers of x. What I'm going to do is look for the term in the denominator with the highest power. In this case, I'm looking at the term x squared. So I've rewritten the limit with space to do the division, and I'm going to divide every term by x squared. And now I can use some algebra to simplify. Keep in mind that normally we cannot divide by anything that could be 0. And so dividing by x, we have to be careful, because if x is 0, this division would be undefined. However, we are only worried about x tending toward infinity. And so we're not worried about x being 0. So we're only looking at places where x is indeed far, far away from 0. So I'm going to keep my limit notation. And then I'm going to take the x to the fourth over x squared. And I'm going to cancel two of the x's, leaving me with an x squared. And then the x cubed over x squared. Again, two of the x's cancel out, leaving me with x. The x squared over x squared in the denominator leaves me with a 1. And I cannot simplify the last term, 4 over x squared. So I leave that alone. Now we can think about each piece, what is happening. And this is where this technique really comes into play. Notice that this 4 over x squared term, as x gets huge, 4 over x squared shrinks to 0. And if you're not really comfortable with that, go back and review the previous Desmos slides to kind of play around with 1 over x or 1 over x squared or 1 over x cubed to get a sense of what happens as x gets large. Another way to think about it is division. As the denominator gets larger, it's going to fit into the numerator fewer and fewer times. So what I do to kind of keep track of what's going on here is I would draw an arrow through that term, stating that it goes to 0. And we'll notice, just looking at the denominator, that my denominator is tending toward a constant, in this case, 1. The numerator is still blowing up to infinity. So we are sitting in the situation of, the limit is tending towards something where the top is blowing up and the bottom is shrinking to a constant. So we can actually draw the conclusion that when the numerator is blowing up to infinity, the denominator is tending to a constant, the overall answer for this limit will be infinity.